Well, with hundreds of homes and businesses burned and thousands of acres blackened, much of Oklahoma is still recovering from the wildfires that swept through our state. And while grass fires are not nothing new to Oklahoma, extremely dry conditions, high winds and low humidity have made much of the state a tinderbox. It's national notoriety our state could do without. As you were looking at live pictures of uh, grass fires burning inside the Oklahoma City uh, city limits. This is a neighbor. Wind driven fires destroying property, endangering lives. When you combine a, heavy, a lot of fine flashy fuels that ignite very easily, they burn very quickly, fire spreads very rapidly, and then you start pushing that fire with 35, you know, 30, 40 mile an hour winds, you know, then when you've got an explosive situation, these fires are, are phenomenal at the rate that they spread. A situation Donna Sinis knows all too well. There was just a haze across the front yard and, you know, I kind of thought, well, I should probably go check that out. And it wasn't, it probably wasn't a minute later that the fire was actually in our yard. Fire fueled not just by the wind, but by volatile cedar trees. These cedar trees, particularly when they're dry like this, they, it, it's, it's astounding how they just almost seem to explode when the fire hits them. Essentially, here's what happens. Low-lying grasses catch fire. Then they spread to nearby cedar trees. The cedar trees literally explode, putting the flames up into other trees, and if they're near your home, to your house. And cedars often help fires rise from low-level grass to higher trees, even homes. This is a classic ladder fuel. We describe a ladder fuel as a fuel that takes the fire from the grass up into the canopy of a tree. So if your house happens to be next to it or a building, or desirable native trees, then that cedar's going to take them out. Something we've seen happen with devastating results, endangering not only homes, but homeowners and firefighters. We can burn down whole subdivisions. We can certainly catch people. A lot of these subdivisions have the classic one way in and one way out, so they get caught up with fire trucks trying to come in, and then a lot of people are killed with a burnover. A lesson Donna Sinis learned all too well as she watched her home burn with local firefighters unable to help. Well, we'll never have the nice cedar line driveway ever again. That was, you know, an issue with the firemen being able to get up the road. They couldn't see through the smoke, so they didn't know where they were going. Turning a grass fire into a house fire for this unlucky family.